Alright, what is going on everybody? It's John here and I'm back with a Black Ops Cold War video and today we are going to be finishing off the campaign storyline. That's right, as you guys can see, the mission we are currently on is Identity Crisis and we are officially two missions away after this mission from revealing the true ending of this campaign. And guys, I am beyond excited. Ever since I ended the previous episode where I pretty much ended it off in a bad moment since it was like a cliffhanger to me I have been way too excited to just get back on the campaign and finish it off now guys I am aware that there are multiple endings to this campaign if I'm not mistaken I think there's three so I'm not exactly sure which ending I am going to get I don't know if I'll get the good ending the bad ending or whatever the other ending is we are about to find out by the end of this video so yeah if you guys enjoy make sure to drop a like if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every single time whenever I upload we are currently 12 subs away from hitting 600 subscribers on the channel so again thank you guys so much for your continuous support it really means a lot to me and with that being said let's just go ahead and get started guys i am beyond excited here we go okay so i remember this scene or this cutscene, and i remember this mission too it was the first mission Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. Oh yeah, guys, that was the moment I found out that I am actually programmed. <laughs> just like Black Ops 1, where Mason was programmed to um kill John F. Kennedy. Um yeah, and this uh, campaign we are programmed to I guess kill Perseus so yeah guys it was it was a pretty exciting turning point right when I found that out that was insane so oh man guys I'm excited here we go and that first thing we saw now it all makes sense to me I was still alive after I think his name was Arash Kadavar after that guy turned on us and killed us in the car it turns out that I didn't die so I survived the blast and then Adler and this team captured me and then programmed me, I guess. So, yeah, I hope I'm getting this right, guys. But, oh, man, this is it's amazing. Okay, here we go. I'm guessing that this is going to be a really big mission because the loading screen time is pretty long. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Okay, so we are back at the safe house. Oh, I remember the scene. Okay. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? Okay, I remember this scene. I last time I answered um what's happening to me, so I'm just gonna answer the same way I did last time. So what what's... you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. Oh, that does not sound good at all. <laughs> Bullshit. What did you do to me? Where's Perseus? Um uh... Oh, what did you do to me? That's why I said. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kadavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. Mm-hmm. And I think this is the mission where we get to see that in action. So, oh, I'm excited, guys. Here we go. There it is. There he is as well. He leaves traps on his stopping in Duba. This, you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duba alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. 
I don't want the competition. Wow, there it is, guys. We were there. We found you after everything went down. Damn, that's insane. That is insane, man. So we were one of Perseus' agents. And then Arash Kadavar turned on us. <laughs> oh, man, guys, that's crazy. You're lying. You put this shit in my head. I believe you. I hope you I can. No, yeah, that, I actually... Yeah, I believe him because that did happen. Oh, wow. So... Oh, that's crazy, guys. Okay, I believe you. I hope you... CIA like reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And right. you were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Damn, guys, all these flashbacks. You people are sick. I was never really in Vietnam. How did changing my identity help you? Okay, so what should I answer? Um, How did changing my identity help you? Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. <laughs> you know, I can answer negatively for pretty much everything. <laughs> what did I give you? Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. No, we've got a job. We've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. Oh, that's right. The phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Greenlight Arsenal, we will detonate them all for the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are now. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Oh, what? Solovetsky. Yo, guys, this is the moment of truth. So I could tell him the truth. Solovetsky at Solovetsky Monastery or Monastery. Or I can lie and tell him Duga, the radar array near Duga. Oh man, guys. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna tell him the truth because I, I feel like the lie that's probably going to be the bad ending if I tell him the lie. And I do not want the bad ending, guys. I personally don't want that. So I'm gonna go with the truth. I'm gonna say that that's a good ending. I hope I am correct. If not, then. Oh man, it's gonna be insane. Okay, so tell Adler the truth. Okay, let me make sure I click on it correctly. Truth. So let's Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. Holy crap, guys! You made the right choice, Bell. Come on, you're still one of us. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, what if I told him to lie though? That's my question guys, oh man. I'm pretty sure gonna check the other endings right after this because I need to see exactly what happens. <laughs> I think... Okay, here we go. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task, protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. 
We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. Oh, damn. They don't That's, know us. That is a clean shot, guys. I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now. Damn, guys, again, what if I told him to lie? Like, he, would, would he still make the same speech and then... Con or, you know, the same speech where he confidently says that we are going to end this now and <laughs> we take him to the wrong place? Oh, man, guys. See, that's what I like about these campaigns when they have multiple endings. You get to make the choices. Okay, the final countdown, and we are playing as me, Bell. Okay, here we go. Coming up on your right. Bellatop really came through in the Soviet armor. Oh, And that is also why I told the truth. Yes, sir. Roger that. Ooh. Take care of them. Okay, I want to make sure I don't kill teammates by accident. Oh crap! Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Ooh. Wow, am I super lucky? <laughs> push up, push up. Go, go, go. Let's go, let's go. Wow, all right, let's get it, guys. Here we go. This is it. Enter the Perseus base. Ooh. Uh oh Okay, my aim is pretty bad right now, even in campaign. I have not played all week, guys, so yeah, excuse my terrible aim if you guys suspect any of it in this video. Ooh, get back, get back, get back. Do we saw that grenade launcher? No, we don't. Okay. You know, I feel pretty happy that I did tell the truth because if I told a lie, I don't know, I would feel pretty bad. If I was, you know, in the wrong place because I told them the wrong place, and then yeah, we just get a horrible ending. I don't know. I'm guessing this is a good ending, right, guys? Okay, here we go. We're here to end Perseus once and for all. Oh, okay. Took up a grenade real quickly. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, okay. We got a plant C4, okay, no problem. Let me just, uh, what's in here? All right, I'm just exploring, exploring Mason, okay. Let's go, let's go. Woo, get back! Yeah! All right. Roger that, we are going to the church. Oh! Hudson, he better have a better relationship with us after this. <laughs> oh man, okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Little nice headshot. Okay, anybody here? Oh. Wow, okay, why am I trying to shoot someone from that far with a shotgun? <laughs> Uh oh. Ooh! Oh, 
Let's take him down quick. Oh, I got to reload. I got to reload. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, you're on the floor. What do I do? <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, we need to hurry then. Okay, destroy, destroy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh oh. I got you, Hudson. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We are gonna hurry up then. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's the AA gun? Oh, it's up there, no. We are just going in, guys. Oh, one minute? Oh. Time to green light that nation. <laughs> We're just jump shotting. Okay, hurry, hurry. Alright, let me clear everyone out of here real quickly. Hold up. Throw that. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I should have never thrown that. Are you joking me? Okay. Oh, I didn't go that bad. Okay, terminate, 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 hurry! Okay. No problem, no problem. Oh. Oh, damn. Uh-oh, I hope I made it out on time, guys. <laughs> they did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. Let's get it. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Damn, so... Okay. Oh, we just saved Europe. <laughs> Towers of history. <clears throat> What's the situation down there? I think I am. Come in. Barry Hudson? <laughs> Woods, have you found them yet? Over here! Give me a hit! Yes! You're good. Take my hand, Bell. <laughs> we did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Damn, all right, guys. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah, after capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. Ooh, He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East. And with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. All right, so I made a good choice capturing him instead well, of killing him. Volkov. Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. Okay, another good choice I made, capturing Volkov. So, damn, guys, we might have... the cleanup in Vanago. We were able to recover Agent Azale's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. No! As you know, Helen returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. Now, yeah, guys, what about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Well, we did finally get Aldrich. That's something. 
Bitch. Persons' <laughs> network is still intact, though. And they'll eventually rebuild. Yeah, I'm glad we got rid of this guy. <laughs> that traitor. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik. That should be a significant blow to Perseus's European network. We also flushed one of Rudnik's key assets down the shitter. There's a couple left, and eventually they'll hit the sewer too. Well, you're a wordsmith, Hudson. And Bell. Bell? Lark hey. is there. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. Right? I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid? <laughs> I know I am. Make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. Oh, what the? Oh, what? Bro. Guys. What? No. <laughs> and that's the end? Just like that? Okay, guys, I am speechless, man. I, I, I'm shocked and speechless. <laughs> Why? Why? Why did Adler have to do that, man? Why? All right, guys. I, I, I don't even know what, what was the reason to that right there. Why did Adler turn on this wood? Oh man, guys. No way. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for watching me play this whole entire campaign from beginning to end and i don't know i guess we got the good ending right guys like i'm not exactly sure i'm not sure we got like the perfect ending the bad ending the somewhat good ending or whatever the other ending was i mean i'm guessing we got the good ending because we saved europe right we we saved them from getting nuked and putting the whole entire blame on the United States. That was a objective at first, but what guys? Oh man, that is insane. Why did Adler turn on us right there? Why? I gotta search this up and see what was the reason that because I don't really understand that. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't. I was oh man. Wow guys. Well this was an amazing campaign. I truly enjoyed it, even though it was a lot shorter than the previous campaigns we've had in the past. But nonetheless, it was still a really good campaign. I enjoyed it. Every mission was a lot of fun to do. And oh man, guys, the ending. I am so shocked. I am very shocked. We didn't even get a chance to find and kill Perseus. I thought we still had one more mission left to, you know, go find and kill Perseus. But I guess we didn't, guys. Wow. Oh man, guys, there is no way. <laughs> All right, well, guys, um, I want to end it off right here, but I'm gonna wait just a little bit because I feel like there will be another cutscene at the end. Uh, usually, Call of Duty campaigns tend to do that, uh, where after the credits, there is one more cutscene for us to see. So, okay, hold on. Um, I think I could just skip through this, right? Uh, okay, let's press X to skip. Let's see if there's any other cutscenes to see because wow. That's crazy, guys. Oh man. Oh no, there isn't. What? Yo, guys. Oh man. I. <laughs> okay, well. 
There you guys have it, man. That was the ending right there. I, I'm still speechless, man. I really am. I, I just, I can't believe it. So it seems that Adler killed me and I killed Adler. And yeah, or I don't know, maybe Adler killed me and Adler lived because, well, as you guys may have seen already uh, from the season one trailer, Adler is still alive. And I guess the storyline is still continuing a teeny bit right after. Um, kind of like the way uh, Modern Warfare storyline continued with Spec Ops, so... I don't know, man, there... Yeah, like I said, guys, I need to um, see a video with the ending explained, because I... Man, that's crazy, I... <laughs> this was never personal, and then Adler... <laughs> oh, man. Now, guys, I was expecting this video to be a lot longer than that. I'm not gonna lie, I really was, because I thought the next couple missions were going to be, like, you know, 20 to 30 minutes long, but... It was a lot shorter than I expected, so... What I'm thinking about doing is trying the other ending, the I'm guessing bad ending, where I lie to Adler and take him to the wrong location. So you know what guys, uh, oh wait, this will override my current missions progress. Oh, uh, you know what, let's do it. Let's do it because I wanna see what happens if you, if you lie to Adler. Here, here, we'll just um skip these scenes that we're able to, okay, we are. I want to see the other ending since we have time. I was thinking about um, making a video where I um, just do one ending and um, uh, one, and then I do the other ending and the other, but you know what, we'll just do both of them here. Okay, so I'm gonna answer it differently this time. So the first time I said what's happening to me, this time I'm gonna say, who am I? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. What did you do to me? Where is Percy is? <laughs> you know what? Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. Oh. Where is Perseus? What if I just... Where is Perseus? You tell us, Bell. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Oh. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kadavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. Okay, so we are back here at the flashback, or we are seeing this flashback again where, yeah, Rush Kadabar turned on me. I'm still, guys, oh, that's crazy how we were, or how Bell was one of the people in the car when Arash just turned on them. That, that's crazy. We'll dump the bodies in the forest, then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. There, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. Damn, man. <laughs> we were there. We found you after everything went down. Okay, so now we are going to answer negatively. Negatively, since the last time, yeah, we said, I believe you, I'll help you if I can. You're lying, you put the shit in my head. Okay. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Okay, so you people are sick. Are your hands clean, Bell? Uh, no, I don't think they are. <laughs> I was never really in Vietnam? Question mark? No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Oh, that's crazy. So I wasn't. I really wasn't in Vietnam? What? 
I'm Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. All right, let's answer badly. I don't think so. You're still holding back on us, and we are going <laughs> to get it out of you. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got a job. We've got a job to do. You've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the dream, of course. All right, here we go, guys. Them all from the safety of this is your chance to define who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety. <laughs> this is it, guys. This is it. Oh man, I don't know why, but I just I feel a little bad by line. Okay, screw it. Duga, the radar array near Duga. Duga. <laughs> Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. No! <laughs> you made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Oh, man. Set up ambush at Duga. Oh! Wow, they're... No way, guys. They're red. Yeah. Oh, time to expo. No, 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 no. Here we, here we, here we. We'll leave within the hour. Tell Percy is I'm bringing Russell Adler is seen to Duga now. We won't let the president down. What? Oh, damn, guys. This is already a little different. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. Damn, Hudson is red too. Everyone is red. <laughs> Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. The Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Damn, guys. Again, I, just, I feel a little bad, but I really do. <laughs> What is gonna happen now? Like, where are we gonna? Obviously, we're gonna be in a different location this time, and. Still seeing no activity from our side. Same. I haven't seen shit. What? No, he's right. red. Everyone converge on the gate. Damn, guys, that is crazy. Even Woods is red. Damn. Sure, you're not forgetting something, Bill. Ashes to ashes. There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We didn't see anything on our side either. It's him. Fucking lied to us. That true, Bill? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere, Russia, so Perseus can detonate those nukes? Yo. Signal ambush, you underestimated me, under, underestimated me, underestimated me, my goodness, goodbye, Adler. Unless, stop, though. 
The United States will harm the world more. Oh, signal ambush. Oh, man. Oh, no. What? Perseus. What? No! Kill Park? Kill Mason? <laughs> Wait, hold on guys. What? Oh my... Guys, <laughs> this is... Oh! I can't even tell who are the enemies or the friendlies, honestly. Okay. Oh! There goes Park. Oh, man. Damn, guys, I feel really bad, man. I really do. Okay, so who else are we able to kill? Woods and Mason. What? No. I can't do it, guys. I can't. There's no way. Mason? Woods? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, you're right, Woods. Oh, no. No. Damn. I can't believe it either, Mason. <laughs> Man. Damn, guys. Finish Adler. Okay, follow Perseus. I know this is... I'm pretty sure this is Perseus. Your friend went through here. He is not far. Come out and play. You are running out of time. And space. Damn, guys, I, I, I can't believe I just did that. I really can't. <laughs> I feel bad. Cat becomes the mouse. Okay, so is Adler in here? Open. No way. Glad to see you still care. Mind giving. We could just shoot Adler right here, or you don't smoke anymore. We tried to help you with all your worst qualities. <coughs> I guess science still has its limits. Please, just shut him up. All right, well, let's give him the lighter. Let's see what he ha what happens. Oh, oh my! <laughs> Damn, guys, no way. Wow. That street dog should have been put down long ago. <laughs> you remember my face, don't you? Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. Oh no. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. Let the new Soviet era begin. Detonate the nukes. The West falls today. Detonate the nukes. Well, guys, I, I just. Wow. I, I can't believe it, man. This is. Oh, man. Alright. Let the new Soviet era begin. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold, but that chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And no way, Adler. All this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. Oh, what? <laughs> As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. Ah. We'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. 
even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. Mm, yet, for humanity, their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. Come, there is still much to be done. Yeah, guys, I, I just, I can't believe it, man. I really can't. I just, I really did that. Oh, no. My God. How many green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. We just screwed everything up, didn't we, guys? <laughs> okay. What's next? We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. Damn, there is a CIA safe house. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Kasim Javali, he fell into the hands of your former CIA friends. Kasim is too soft. I will need you to personally supervise his erasure. Wow, okay, so this is different. Wow, okay. As with Kasim, the CIA is now holding Anton Volkov. If you can locate him, bring him back to us. If they have broken him, he must be eliminated. Did we break him? I don't remember exactly if we did or not. I think we did, so I think we might have to eliminate Volkov. <laughs> You say that Eliezer Azoulay perished in Cuba. We will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side. This is evil, guys. More than anything. This is not a bad ending. A bad ending. This is a, an evil ending. <laughs> Fortunately, our key asset within the U.S., Robert Aldrich, was killed. Our spiring there is still intact, but we will need <laughs> to build and find new leadership. Okay, so... Definitely would have been a little different if we kept them alive and never killed them. The death of Major Vadim Rudnik is a terrible loss for post-nuclear Europe. He was to help shepherd in the Soviet-aligned future. Hopefully, we can still move forward without his presence there. The CIA also managed to eliminate one of Rudnik's key assets. The other two will help fill the void left behind. But I have no doubt these are but temporary losses. We are just getting started, my friend. Wow, just like that, guys. Just like that. Oh man, okay, let's skip this. Oh man, I, I feel bad. I really do. I feel rotten. That's like, I guess one of the best words I can use right now. I feel rotten. I just... I <laughs> First of all, I killed Park. Second of all, I killed Mason. Third of all, I killed Woods. Fourth of all, I killed Adler. Fifth of all, I got the evil ending by... Just destroying Europe and putting the whole entire blame on the United States and just... That's crazy, guys. Now, I kind of wish I didn't just right away signal the ambush. I think I would have been able to um, talk to Adler, uh, Woods, Park, 
Mason, you know, the rest of them. I think I would have been able to um, have some extra dialogue if I didn't right away signal the attack. But at the moment, I wasn't really thinking. I thought for a second that um, if I put a different um, different dialogue, then it would have just amb it would have started the ambush right away, right after. So yeah, guys. But oh man, this, yeah, this ending definitely. The most evil ending I've ever seen in any Call of Duty game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every single time whenever I upload. What did you guys think about the campaign? Was it amazing? Was it disappointing? Was it too short? Anything, let me know. And what did you guys think about both endings? If I'm not mistaken, I think there is a third ending. I don't know if I am correct on that, if I am wrong, be sure to let me know in the comments down below, but I think there's two of the three endings. Right now we got both endings, and the third one, I'm not exactly sure what that would be, so I might have to just search that one up. Maybe I was supposed to do something different, maybe um, go the wrong directions on the mission break on through, like not listen to Adler at all, just take my own pathways. Maybe that's what I was supposed to do, not really sure, but... Oh man, what an amazing campaign. You're able to choose either the good side or the bad side and you get completely different endings from doing that obviously. Once again, I wanna thank you guys so much for sticking around with me throughout the whole entire campaign walkthrough. Like I said, every single mission was a lot of fun. Some were pretty interesting. Like for example, um, Echoes of a Cold War, Red Light, Green Light, Desperate Measures, a lot of them or pretty much all of them were amazing. I just, I had a lot of fun playing this campaign. So yeah, again, let me know what you guys thought about it. But anyways, for the last time, I'm going to go ahead and end this video off. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like and hope you guys have a nice and wonderful day. And without that being said, it's been John feeling rotten right after that ending and I'm out. Peace.